Here at Lebanon High School, the second game in our boys-girls doubleheader is the Lebanon boys basketball team versus Hanover. The rivalry continues in Division II boys basketball. Here are the game's highlights. Now he's looking to drive, gets to the basket, and lays it in for two. Looking inside to Davidson. Back out to Silver. Silver. Three points shot, and it's good. Over on the wing. Back up top to Garen. Swings it over to Hampton. Hampton for three. Hits it. Nuts the net. Yeah. Harwick. Wide open look from just inside the three point line. No good. Offensive rebound. Hanover. As Kraft knocks down the shot. And a block shot by Shepard. Hanover can serve. And the shot is good by Kraft. Pulls. Three point shot in and out. Back the other way comes Hanover. And Gantris makes the runner. 19 to 7. After one quarter play and a steal. On the other end, O'Rourke lays it in. Picked up by Hanover. Herman Stanzel on a drive. Kicks it. Three pointer is good by Rothwell Ferraris. Pass up ahead to Coles. Skips it over to Silver. To the basket. Back out to Garen. Missed the shot. But Coles gets the rebound. Hampton leaves it for Silver. Silver pulls up at the elbow. Hits the shot. 28 to 16, Hanover leading. And a steal by Lebanon. But then Hanover's able to get it right back. And team, they get hit a three. Morrill, wide open layup. And he's able to score. Two points for Hanover. Inside Shepard turns it over. Pass up ahead. And Harwick is able to make the. Pulls on a drive. Lays it in. And Hampton hits the three pointer. Looking to use a screen by Kraft. Pass inside to Kraft for two. Three-pointer Hampton. And it's good. And the digits since the first quarter. Offensive rebound Davidson. Has a shot blocked from behind. Pulls up. No good. Another offensive rebound by Davidson. Hampton to the basket. Has a shot blocked. Misses the shot. And Davidson able to follow it up for two. Two. Jump shot and it's good. Still the lead's 12. And Sue's able to score. Looking for a foul call there. They don't get it. And a technical foul call. And, and that's it. Hanover wins. And Alex, obviously, yeah. right? Okay. Second game of our girls-boys doubleheader here at Lebanon High School, and a, and a big win for the uh, Hanover boys basketball team, avoiding a, a sweep as Lebanon won the girls' game, but uh, Hanover making a statement, continuing their undefeated season. They win it 51-37 to over a good Lebanon team. I'm here with our two players of the game for, uh, for Hanover, Dan Gorman and Alex Kras, and uh, what a physical game this was. Uh, talk about the, the battle inside and the paint there, Dan, that you guys had with uh, the, the big guys for Lebanon. I mean, it's kind of what we expected. We knew it was coming. Um, obviously, their bigs are big and strong, and ours are quite the same. It's pretty evenly balanced, I think. And I don't know if necessarily one got the better of the other, but it was it was it's a bar fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I, I hope that you don't know what, what that's like yet. Um, 
But uh, Alex, game high, 17 points for you. And, uh, you know, talk about what you were able to do offensively, you know, slashing and, and uh, getting to the rim against these guys. Obviously, they're a good defensive team, but you guys were able to get it done. Yeah, I mean, we worked hard in practice to play against a team that we knew was going to be physical. So knowing what was coming and having worked hard all week, I, I was able to get in there and get some points. But without Dan and the rest of the guys passing it and setting picks and stuff, I wouldn't have done anything. So it was awesome to have them helping out. But it was just we wanted it more, and I wanted it more, and it came. So, And, and defensively, you guys, you know, only giving up 37 points um, to a Lebanon team that, you know, they have some guys that can score, you know, Davidson and Hampton and Coles can all score the basketball pretty well. And, you know, you guys really frustrated them defensively, not really letting them get anything easy at all. Well, it, we knew it was going to be physical, and we wanted to out out physical them so I don't even know if that makes sense but we we wanted to hedge our screens we wanted to bump them we wanted to hit them in the chest coach said earlier this week we wanted to all have bruises right here and that's what we were going for so I think we did we won the fight we won the physical fight and that's that's what got us that low scoring game and Dan a couple times you know you guys pushed the lead up to 15 17 points um, and then Lebanon was able to get it down around 8 or 10 but you guys just kind of kept pushing back, you know. We just kind of. What was the key to you guys, uh, you know, second half withstanding those runs that they were throwing at you guys? I think it was often off a timeout, off a end of a quarter of the half. It was one big play, maybe a two or three big plays in a row or something. It doesn't have to be a basket. It could be like a steal. It could be any sort of thing. Ryan O'Rourke had a huge hustle play down there that got us right back in it when we thought they were going to get a layup. And it's that kind of thing that's just being resilient, even if they hit one or two threes. We always always found some way to get the momentum back and when we got momentum we never slowed down at least for a few minutes so. and this is a Lebanon team that's uh, you know usually very good on the boards yeah. um, but you guys definitely out rebounded them and uh, you know got a bunch of uh, offensive rebounds that led to second shot point uh, second uh, chance points and and uh, you know held them to one shot as well you guys did a pretty good job on the boards yeah rebounding was definitely key and we work on that every single day in practice and we stressed it even more this week because we knew it'd be a huge key um, so yeah that was big and it worked out. And, uh, and Alex, you led the team in scoring, but you guys, you know, watching this game, it seems like a really balanced team. You know, any one of the five guys on the floor at one time might be able to score the basketball. You don't really have just one guy that takes all the shots. You guys seem like a really balanced team out there offensively. And I think that's the best part of our team is there's not one guy a team can focus on defensively. There's five guys, six guys that can go off every night. And it's just hard to be able to find which one it's going to be because it could be two or three of us at the same time. And I... I attribute it to playing with these kids since since I was fourth grade, fifth grade, playing on AAU. Like we know what the other kid wants, and and we get it to him. So that's the best thing about our team for sure. You think you guys are uh, um, underrated? Maybe a little bit uh, disrespected? You know, not a lot of people are talking about Hanover. Um, you know, in Division Two, everybody's talking about Pembroke and Portsmouth. You know, and then and Pelham as well. Uh, but you guys are you know the only undefeated team left right now in Division Two. I mean, I think we heard uh, Lebanon fans chanting overrated for a while there, even when we're up 15 or so. I mean, I know we're not overrated. I like to think we're underrated, but I kind of like that. I don't know. I feel as though, I mean, the papers, like, people don't necessarily pay attention to us. not necessarily a bad thing. It's just how it is, and that's kind of Hanover basketball. I don't know. We, we kind of we thrive with that, I think. And you guys got a big game coming up with Pembroke. Yep. Um, they were in the house um, scouting you guys out. What do you guys uh, think going into the game against them? I know they've got some great guards that like to break you down off the dribble and uh, hit some threes and stuff, but I mean, we're going to practice hard. We've got one practice between now and then, I think, but uh, I mean, it's, it's a big game, and, and again, we're going to have the fight, and if we can out-rebound them and out-hustle them and out-work them, then I think we can come out. We have a good chance of coming out on top again. And uh, last question, Alex, talk about this rivalry with, uh, with Lebanon. Um, obviously, it's a huge rivalry, and you know, people in the southern part of the state might not know much about it but up here in the upper valley it's it's a pretty big deal you know you look around and it's just a packed gym and it's a it's a it's a loud noisy crowd must be a lot of fun to play in this atmosphere yeah we love it i mean the rivalry starts in the fall when soccer and football starts playing and we see davidson and hampton and those kids at our games and we go to their games and we're yelling we're screaming we're getting into it so it's nice to be able to be on the court and take that rivalry to our skills instead of just yelling at each other but it's a lot of fun we were talking before this this is we love this this is our favorite game of the season away at Leb and we go nuts for this this is this is what we do well you went away at Leb and you got the win um, so congratulations to uh, Hanover boys basketball team 
winning it 51 to 37, 9 and 0 record now in Division Two. Congratulations to them, and we thank our players of the game, um, Alex Crass and Dan Gorman. Congrats on the win, guys. Best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For the Nation Notebook, nhnotebook.com, I'm Jeremy Levier.